what's going on guys Moxification here so today um, uh, I'm going to show you how you can update your dashboard to the latest dash, uh, dashboard which is currently a 17349 uh, it may be a different dashboard update for the future because it is going to be the same method and I will update the um, the download so you can you know you can do it if it's a different dashboard number um, but currently, uh, it's the, what's the date, it's the 1st of May 2015, uh, and the current dashboard update is 17349. So, uh, what you're going to need to do is get your uh, NAND. So, to get your NAND, you're going to need Flash 360. So, uh, you want to download all the downloads, you're going to get uh, XE Build, and you're going to get Flash 360. I'll probably put them together uh, in one download thing. Uh, but yeah, so Flash 360, um, here we go, uh, what you're going to need to do is, uh, I'm going to use Neighborhood, because Neighborhood is a lot easier to use, in my opinion, uh, you can do it via USB, but Neighborhood just makes everything 10 times quicker, just because it's, you know, it's just quicker, if you've got a fast computer, then it's going to be 10 times quicker, so uh, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna find. I've I've already got Flash 360 on there, but I'm gonna put put it there anyway. So this is Flash 360. I'm gonna put it on the desktop just so I've got it there, and I'm gonna put that in my uh, in the hard drive, like the retail hard drive uh, emulation. Uh, so there it is there. Now I can delete this. Uh, yeah, there you go. So now. Uh, what you want to do is you want to load up flash360.xx. So now uh, I'm going to load up the PVR so you guys can see what you have to do. Um, and yeah, that's it really. Uh, so yeah, it should load up pretty quickly. I'm just sending on my controller because you are going to need a controller. Here we go. Alright, alright, here we go. So as you can see, you've got a load of options, bottom left hand corner, you're basically going to back up your current NAND to file, so that's X, uh, then uh, button A which is saving uh, entire NAND uh, to file, uh, that shouldn't take long, depending on your uh, NAND size, mine is 16 MIB, I think that's uh, megabits, uh, but yeah, there we go, press any button to continue. Uh, back button now you can uh, exit the application so just press back back and then it will come out of the application here we go now it's back on the dashboard now we want to come away from that and find ah right here we go now we're back in flash 360 if it's not there which it won't be there you want to refresh and you're going to have a flash dmp.bim you want to get that you want to drag that to your desktop here we go ah and you know what just real quick just just real quick, just to show you, I didn't show you at the start of the video, I'm going to show you the dashboard number that we're currently on, like, a console settings, there you go, system info, and as you can see, it's 2.0.17150.0, uh, so it's 1715.17150 is the currently, uh, current dashboard, uh, the, 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 uh, and this is on my JTAG, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out just real quick, uh, but yeah, uh, so here we go, we've got the Flash DMP, so now all we need is XE Build. So we're going to open up XE Build, uh, you know what, we'll drag this to the desktop as well, just so we have direct access to that. Here we go, uh, and we're going to open up the XE Build GUI 2.0. Now you're going to open up the Flash DMP bin here, it's going to be called Source File. You don't want to do File Load, you want to do uh, Source File Open. And you could just put the, um, you, you know, actually, you, you could just put the actual, uh, the link for it in there. And the link is uh, that. It's going to be like users and whatever. But, you know, you want to do open and find it. Um, because then, it, you know, then it's in there. Uh, and then you're going to have a load of ticks apart from CPU. Uh, to get your CPU, you are going to need your CPU. You can get that from Zell. Uh, a lot of people normally have their CPU on their computer, which I do, so CPU, uh, I, yep, this one, copy, uh, paste, you are going to need your own CPU key, so if you don't know your own CPU key, just turn off your uh, console, and press the eject button, and then that's going to load into Zell, it should only take about 10 seconds to load fully, and right at the bottom you're going to have DVD key and CPU key, you're just going to copy that and put that in uh, the CPU key area. 
So then uh, you're going to see uh, all of your info. You don't want to change any of these because you could fully break your console if you change anything else. Uh, the only thing you do want to change is this part right here, uh, which is to the latest one, which is already actually currently on, uh, which is... Uh, I didn't I didn't see it, but yeah, it's actually already on 17349, so you don't need to change it at all. The, the last one was 17150, and it's currently 17349. So, uh, yeah, now you can do a generate hacked image. Uh, that should only take a couple of seconds, uh, depending on how big your NAND is. You can click any one of these. Um, you can do yes or no, I'm just click yes. Uh, to X out. Uh, now, you have these two files. You've got this, which is just a log. Uh, and it tells you, you know, what happened, and if it worked, and if it was successful, and it was. So, that's all good. You don't need that. Uh, now all you need is the UPD flash .bim. So what you need to do with this is uh, basically uh, grab where is it neighborhood. You want to put the UPD flash .bin uh, in this uh, in neighborhood, and then you want to load up Flash 360 XEX again. Here we go. Uh, you also want to make a backup of the Flash DMP .bin uh, just in case. You know, something were to go wrong. Uh, but yeah, uh, that can just go in a file folder somewhere, just in case. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Uh, Alright, now we've got, uh, you've got button A to do stuff, button B to do stuff, and button X to do stuff. Uh, you want to do button A, because that's going to update, uh, that's going to write the update flash to NAND. It's basically going to uh, rewrite, sort of. But yeah, so button A. Then you can do either one of these, A or B, I always do B. Then you've got button A to reset, or re retest, or start button to ignore and continue, so start button. And then A button to begin, or any other button to return to the, uh, to the main menu, so you've got button A. There you go. So now it goes from 0 to 100%, and that takes seconds, up to 20 seconds maximum. It's nearly done, there you go, it's done for me, for you guys, you've, there you go. Alright, here we go, so, uh, any button to continue, and then back button, back button, and then it will shut down the console. It will go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then the console will shut down. Now, what you want to do is, you actually want to unplug the power brick for like 5 seconds, because that's going to restart the console time and everything else so I'm just gonna get up and do that now there you go we just did it I don't, this is gonna be difficult for me to actually um, for me to actually plug it back in because there's not enough space but I'm gonna have to give it a go anyway where is it there you go Alright, I've got it, and just plug in back in, now, there you go, mine's back in, now you just want to turn it on from the power button, and then I'll show you the screen in a second, uh, once it's loaded up, I just need to turn the, turn the light back off, here we go, alright, here we go, uh, it might take a while to load, but, you know, it, it does boot. Ah, here we go. Ah. Here we go. Uh, it's loading up now. Oh, Moxification signed in. It will boot to the dashboard. And now we can go to the settings, system, console, and system info. There you go, as you can see, uh, 2.0. 0.17349.0 and we're on the latest update on the JTAG I'll just show you that it is on the JTAG and not on a retail uh, they got XEX menu and we are connected on the uh, on the JTAG but yeah so I mean yeah that's it really uh, so yeah those downloads will be in the description the downloads for uh, where were they uh, XE build and the Flash 360. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, download them and then you'll be good to go. Uh, but yeah, thanks guys, Moxification, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Uh, so yeah, uh, goodbye.